With the Freeform Bridge tool, you can add or remove material from your shapes. This is an effective tool for creating holes through the model. In this exercise, you will use the Bridge tool to create a handle for a container and fill a gap between two Freeform shapes. In the browser, double-click the Freeform named Form 1 to open the Freeform editing environment. On the Modify panel, select Bridge. After the Bridge dialog box opens, you select the faces for Side 1. Understand that there is no need to hold Control to select multiple faces with this tool. In fact, this tool does not support pre-selection either. You simply select the faces that you wish to bridge. For this exercise, starting from the large faces on the sloped and right sides, select the face in the second row down from the slope and the second column in from the right. Also click the next three faces to the left. Once you have the Side 1 faces selected, click the Side 2 selection button in the dialog box. Orbit the model to select the matching faces on the back of the model. The selection order is not important. Check the Preview option in the dialog box and set the number of faces to 4. Orbit the model to see the preview. Click OK. The faces were transformed into a hole through the model, forming the handle for the container. Click Finish Freeform on the exit panel to exit the freeform environment. Next, you will use the Bridge tool to add material between shapes. On the ribbon, 3D Model tab, Create Freeform panel, Expand the Primitives drop-down menu and select Box. Clicking the XY plane and then a point to the right of the container to place the box. Set the following values. Length to 150 millimeters. Faces to 8. Width to 100 millimeters. Faces to 4. Height to 75 millimeters and faces to 4. Check length symmetry. Click OK. Double click anywhere on the box to select the entire shape. Copy the shape using Control C or the Copy command from the context menu. Paste the shape using Control V or the Paste command from the context menu. The Edit Form dialog box appears so that you can immediately edit the copied shape, which is occupying the same space as the original shape. Drag the box up approximately 100 millimeters using the Z-axis manipulator arrow. Drag the box back approximately 50 millimeters, and then rotate about the X-axis by 45 degrees causing the top of the box to face towards the front. Select Mode Scale in the dialog box to reduce the number of manipulators in the graphics window. Select Local Space for the coordinate system. Click the Scale Grip that controls the height. In the Edit box on the Mini Toolbar, type 0.5. Move the box forward or backwards and up or down to suit. Then click OK. Click the Bridge tool in the Modify panel. The Bridge dialog box appears and prompts you to select the Side 1 faces. On the lower box, third row from the front, select the Center 4 faces. Right click and select Continue from the Marking menu to begin the Side 2 selection. On the upper box, third row from the top, select the Center 4 faces. 
If the preview option is enabled, the model updates. Click OK. As you have discovered in this lesson, the bridge tool can connect faces to add or remove material to the model. It is not necessary to delete the faces first.